Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So today's topic is very juicy, intimacy with your twin flame and let's see what it has to say today. So see, intimacy tw with your twin flame is a very deep space within okay it's a very tender space within so when someone is intimate with each other it is not only physical or sexual or romantic it can be a very vulnerable space where your twin flame is opening up to you saying i went through this trauma i went through this problem and opening up to you and then you have to be very sensitive there because uh, for example, intimate, intimate space means that it's actually very raw and soft. So if you make one wrong move, like for example, let's say this is very, very raw and soft. Okay, there is no skin protecting it. There is only like flesh, maybe something like that. And if you make one wrong move, you could end up hurting yourself or them. So intimacy's key is coming from trust. So it is not the other way around where you first claim intimacy and then you gain trust with each other. No, it does not work like that. So everybody is like, you know, um, rushing into romance or rushing into a relationship uh, and then understanding that you have to build friendship and trust there. So instead, build friendship and trust with yourself first mirror exercise and then uh, you know allow yourself to build that trust and friendship with your twin flame so that both of y'all will not end up hurting each other when you trigger each other it then you can hold space for each other in that vulnerable area so even when you trigger each other in like let's say you're seeing each other you're with each other then if you trigger each other then it's a very vulnerable space. Will he hurt me? Will she hurt me? Will he judge me? Will she judge me? Whatever the reasons are, right? It's still an intimate place. So if you know how to go back to mirror exercise and love yourself and heal and not hurt each other in that vulnerable space, that's when intimacy blooms. That's when you will have deep intimacy with your twin flame. And to claim deep intimacy, you need to claim deep trust with your twin flame and yourself so you can make a choice right now i choose to claim deep trust with myself i choose to build deep trust with myself to build deep, deep trust all you have to do is go mirror all your blocks all your upsets all your traumas all your uh, childhood wounds everything if you mirror all that you will be able to build a lot of trust within and then your twin flame will be able to join you in that space where you have built trust and you can have beautiful romance, beautiful intimacy with yourself. So intimacy is not only just physical intimacy, intimacy comes with a lot of trust. So it's about, uh, you know, what do you say, surrendering into each other, where an intimate space is where you really let go and surrender into each other, where you trust each other fully where you trust the God in you very fully. See, as I talk also, I'm feeling emotional because I think I'm talking about intimacy. So intimacy is very deep, very emotional space where you have to honor. So you need to know how to value, respect and honor yourself first so that you can choose to value, respect and honor your twin flame and also receive that from them. So intimacy is not just randomly, it's not going to randomly come in. Like everybody is almost looking at, I want to go on a date with my twin flame. I want to be with my twin flame and I want to, you know, have a relationship with my twin flame. Well, intimacy has a cost. Intimacy comes with all these things which I mentioned. First, you have to build friendship, then trust, then uh, respect, honor, value and not uh, at a very superficial level. It has to be very grounded level. Unless and until you have that grounded core values, it's not going to be easy to go into intimacy with your twin flame because there's a good possibility that either one of y'all could get hurt in the process. So to, to protect the union, it is safe that you work on yourself and build 
trust you should feel valuable you should feel respectable you should feel that you can trust yourself you should feel like you have faith and you believe in yourself you should feel like you can protect yourself in a vulnerable situation so when you build that relationship with yourself since your twin flame is you it is easy to come into intimacy with your twin flame so don't jump into intimacy with your twin flame unless and until your heart is really guiding to when maybe there is healing there to be done it is always safe to be intimate with your twin flame but you need to see why you are doing it are you doing it just to get that love from them just to get that feeling of uh so much bliss and love from them or else are you doing it from a place of love respect honor uh grounding joy you know are you doing it from that are you doing it from a place of sharing that value sharing the healing you have brought upon yourself right are you sharing a broken heart which could possibly poke them or are you sharing a healed glowing heart this is the question so if a healed glowing heart will never get hurt in intimacy and that's when that intimacy turns into ripples especially in life purpose so twin flame intimacy is very powerful and it turns a lot of power so that energy can be channeled together into life purpose by the both of you so uh, and with that energy you can serve others in in any field that you are in when you uh, like for example when i do my designs i serve i serve uh, you know the eyes and beauty right i serve the eyes of the people who are watching it or seeing it and enjoying it and bringing warmth and love to their heart so that service it's not some extra ordinary life purpose uh, like going out there and you know uh, doing extra stuff no service is very simple uh, service is will be in alignment with your core value so that's another topic which i will talk about life purpose is service but that service also means you're serving yourself which means that you know there is energy exchange that has to be done for the service otherwise there will be imbalance right so yes uh, this is twin flame intimacy do build trust with yourself and see how you feel in your heart are you able to trust yourself are you able to believe in yourself do you have value yourself not in your head your head will always say yes these are logical things right yes it's understood you are able to value but are you able to feel that are you able to feel all of this when you are feeling it you are living it that's a difference when you are saying it it's just like a tape recorder it's not alive right so that's why the heart space the feeling level has to get activated and the best way to activate and the best tool to activate it is mirror exercise so i would invite everybody in the coaching as usual uh the group coaching is very very powerful the one i'm running it's on every wednesday 7 pm and it is only 54 dollars for four sessions okay four consecutive sessions in a month so that's a very good amount because then if you divide it i think it's some 13 dollars per session that's very less like 1000 rupees or something like that per session it is a very very good deal because group coaching brings a lot of healing already my students in there are doing really well and healing very well so if you join in you know you'd be able to ascend fast and easy into your union or if you already have union you'd be able to ground it instead of going into separation again and again you would be able to ground all these spaces of intimacy and have an awesome romantic time with your twin flame so which one do you claim i choose to claim my romance you can say it with me right now <laughs> i choose to claim my romance i choose to claim my intimacy with my twin flame and i choose to build trust with myself so this is i guess you guys can uh, repeat it after me and see how it feels in your heart are you able to um, feel a moment there uh, is there a block to it so check it and uh, well feel your heart and then go into intimacy thank you so much god bless